White, white's also a the lifetime warranty. Right? It's the protectorists. You can send it to Gary. They said they, they, said they honor their warranty. So. I can always give it to Louie, ask him for a new one. Yeah. I don't think he can get it anymore. Hello, Mike, Bob, Cindy, Sandra, Dennis. Hey, Tina. <laughs> the gang's all here. Lookout Beach. Yeah, look at all the people down here. The club. Everybody's digging away. Trying our luck. Overcast, but yeah. Number one, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But nine people from the club came out here today doing a little club dig. First one of the year. Wish us luck. Okay. Just want to show you. I found 1975 nickel. First one. With the beaver on it. Pretty cool. Oh, oh. Put it away in my little container. Yeah. Okay, folks, I'm down here at the beach and look what we've got. Here's a artist putting together all the garbage found on the beach. And they've made it into a little show of people. And uh, kind of neat. Just to show you. You can still make art out of all the garbage, but this is all stuff that was found down on this beach. And the artist put it all together and turned it into art, which is kind of cool. So this is first thing in the morning. Not many people around. And uh, so I thought we'd just kind of do a video uh, down here about it and uh, yeah well, let's see what you think you know garbage garbage but uh, yeah very interesting very cool runners and these are all things that happen on the beach people running people getting out in the water surfing and uh, swimming fishing all stuff found here beer cans the um, metal detectors favorite pull tabs at least there's not that much metal on here but uh, yeah very interesting. So I thought I'd add, add this to the video. And here. Plastic, saran wrap, tin foil, fish nets, bottles. But just see how the world and survives on plastic and just plain garbage. And here they've set this up uh, as a volleyball court with people. It's uh, very interesting. And uh, I just I think it's very cool. Hope you're enjoying it. And uh, you know, here's a person serving. You know, well done. And uh, it's amazing. Just plain amazing how they could do 
this artwork with garbage that they have found and uh, little pieces of computer umbrella plastic bottles fish nets a lot of fish nets a lot of fish nets and yeah so thought it's kind of cool look over that person over there almost look like it's real you know they've got it down so so cool so yeah I don't know pretty cool people sitting on the beach over there yeah on the parking Yeah. Sun tanning, huh? And here, look at this. Another one of our favorite finds, Corona. That one's sitting on a little cooler, Corona. Yeah. Sun just hitting it. Yeah. The leg on that person there would look like it's a bottle of a liter of pop. Bag. The boobs were made of ketchup on that one. Yeah, eyes. Feet and toes of plastic. Bore tin foil. Yeah. More sunglasses, all the things we see down there. But this is pretty well, most of it is just plain plastic. Everything down here is plain plastic. Anyway, I thought I'd just video it. I'm down here this morning um, doing a little beach hunt. It's been pretty busy down here recently, so. I thought I'd come down and grab an hour of hunting along the beach here and uh, hopefully we'll find something. But we've got a uh, beautiful day. People are out there uh, coming in. They're doing a lot of uh, ocean swimming. And uh, first thing in the morning, you can see there's a person out there now. A couple of people coming in. They finished their swim. Uh, but it's a beautiful morning here in Vancouver and this outdoor pool is over there and uh, Yeah, so and that's an area I used to play as a little kid My mom and dad used to bring me down here on Sundays and we play down there those trees were probably a quarter of the size when I came down here, so uh, but this is uh, one of the most popular beaches in Vancouver Kitsilano and then the harbor. Then we have uh, North Shore Mountains up over there. Uh, the ski hills, their snow is slowly disappearing, but yeah, and then people, they uh, anchor their boats and sailboats out there in the summertime, so. But when I go down further, there's a little surprise. I'll, I'll show you something else uh, later on in the video uh, about uh, uh, what has taken place on this beach uh, many many years ago so uh, but anyway wish me luck uh, that we find something thanks okay <clears throat> down here gold hoop that's what we found right there this was a visual so but yeah I found a nickel down here but so this is giving me yeah. Huh. Interesting. A gold hoop. So maybe there might be another one around. We'll check it. But you can see people going up for their ocean swim. 
they got their little buddies behind them, their little floaties, just in case they get in trouble, so. Okay, so what I wanted to show you this morning here was that uh, this beach played a major role in D-Day. Uh, and I want to show you just the area. So right about where I'm standing here, going out and coming in from that point from over there to there and around. And this area, this whole area right in front of me here was uh, in the war they had barges of the men, you know, with those floating uh, barges that would bring the men to shore had landed right out in front here. And I will show you some pictures of that on this beach. This beach played a major role in the Second World War for D-Day, and that was Kitsilano Beach. So this is a major beach that the Allies had uh, practiced on, practiced their landing uh, uh, when they were fighting the Ger Germany. And uh, so, but I uh, thought I'd just kind of show you. So this area here is where they would be coming in, the, the landing barges were coming in, and I'll show you some photos within that, so. See you soon.